The Miao are an ancient ethnic group living in parts of southwestern China. Because they inhabit some of the more isolated mountainous areas of the country, they have kept many of their traditional religious practices alive. Shamans still play an important role in Miao community life. Although these days they have adapted some of their religious activities as performances designed to entertain visitors. The roots of Chinese exorcism are in ancient festivals, celebrated to drive away the devil causing plague. It's a kind of a cultural phenomenon of primitive religions. It mainly involves rituals, plays, skills and masks. Skill performances like climbing a mountain of swords and jumping into a sea of flames are called exorcism skills. In the eastern part of China's Guizhou province, there is a group of people called masters of exorcism. Legend has it that these people are skillful at magic. They are Achillean, fear neither water nor fire. They can communicate with gods and can tell the future. Do such people really exist? What's the secret of their invulnerability? In a male village, inaccessible to vehicles, we found a master of exorcism, Long Zhongshu. Limited by the area of the place, the master cannot immediately perform his skills of climbing up a mountain of swords or jumping into a sea of flames. But he promised to demonstrate the use of magic to bring two split bamboos together into one and then split them again. Lung Zhufu goes to cut a bamboo from a courtyard. Everyone finds it interesting that Lung Zhongshu spoke to the bamboos, but no one seems to have wondered why he made such a prey. After getting the bamboos ready, Long Zhongshu put on his magic clothes and is ready for the performance. It's said that when a master of exorcism practices this magic, his eyes turn red. Everyone is closely observing the change in his eyes. In order to show that his skills are real and truly magic, Long Zhongshu asks for the cooperation of our photography team. The performance begins, and Long Zhongshu keeps murmuring to himself. He says he's asking for help from the gods. Male masters of exorcism believe that the chants passed on from their ancestors can help grab the attention of gods and get protection from some mysterious power. The county of Sung Tao is situated in the eastern part of Guizhou province. It's at the junction of three provinces, namely Sichuan, Guizhou, and Hunan. More than 2,000 years ago, it was called a ghost cube. It's a mysterious area where the male ethnic people gathered. Local male people believe they're descendants of the Chuyou people. After years of warfare, they finally settled down here from Hunan and Hubei provinces. In the chaos caused by war and the vicious natural environment, the male people needed to find a spiritual support for living. Therefore, they created these so-called divinities. They believe that each and every species on this planet has its spirits. And masters of exorcism can communicate with everything in nature and thus get protection from divinities. Our photography team cooperates with Long Zhong Shu in staging the performance. But more than 10 minutes have passed. There's no sign of two split bamboos combining into one. More than 40 minutes pass. Long Zhong Shu gives up.
Yeah, me chandele. The lot of me chandele. Sixty year old Long Zhong Shu says his magic has never failed like this. Some other members of our photography team volunteer to assist the old man with his performance. They want to see how it would be like if his magic succeeds. This time, the one who offered to help is a reporter with a local TV station. It's not long before the bamboos undergo some changes. Gradually, the two split bamboos get close to each other. All this while, the hands of the person holding the bamboo have not moved. Within less than five minutes, the two split bamboos stick to each other completely. Several minutes later, Long Zhong Shu gives an order for the two bamboo pieces to split again. How can the bamboos automatically combine together and split again? We ask this of Wu Guoyu director of the Relics Management Bureau in Songtao County. Wu Guoyu was born in a family skillful at exorcism for generations. Although not a master of exorcism himself, he is influenced by what he constantly sees and hears from his childhood. He is now dedicated to the research on the culture of exorcism. <laughs> So the failure of the performance at the beginning must have something to do with the lack of a certain element. But what is it? Comparing the two performances, we find that the most obvious difference is that the people assisting in the performance had changed. It's said that many exorcism performances can only be effective in places like Guizhou, Hunan and Sichuan. The skills of exorcism involve some psychological elements. Our photography team coming from afar is not influenced by local culture, and we don't really believe in the existence of divinities. Therefore, we didn't accept the implications given by a master of exorcism. Is that the reason that the performance failed at the first? Long Zhong Shu is preparing for another kind of performance. He says he can use a piece of ordinary cloth to cover a jar filled with water and guarantee that the water inside the jar will not flow out even if the jar is put upside down. Without special treatment, how can a piece of ordinary cloth keep water from flowing out? <laughs> Our photography team carefully checks the red cloth, the jar and the water. They find nothing special. This time, will the performance be successful? Everyone is closely watching each and every step the master takes in performing. He fills the jar with clean water. His students use the red cloth to cover the jar's mouth. After the mouth of the jar is covered by cloth, Long Zhong Shu begins to make some special gestures towards the jar. At the same time, he is murmuring something. Finally, he turns the jar filled with water upside down on the wooden block. Our camera swiftly follows his move. 
there's a little bit of water flowing out, but the wooden block is still dry. Obviously, there's not much water flowing out of the jar. Is it the wooden block that has stopped the water inside the jar from flowing out? With assistance from his students, Long Zhongshu ties a rope around the mouth of the jar. He wants to pick up the jar. Our camera closely follows his every move. It's a surprising scene. Is the water still inside the jar? Is it possible that Long Zheng Shu got the water out of the jar right in front of us? We place the mouth of the jar in front of our camera for a double check. Through the red cloth, we can see the water is inside, but it doesn't flow out. Why didn't the water flow out? We redo the steps taken by Master Long Zhongshu, fill the jar with water, cover its mouth with a piece of red cloth, and tie it tightly around the mouth. We pay attention to each and every detail, and gradually we turn the jar upside down. We find that the water inside doesn't flow out either. But our photography team has actually no knowledge of magic. How can we succeed in staging the performance? Long Zhongshu tells us that the reason for our success is his presence. He's already given the magic to the cloth, but where did the power of magic come from? In ancient times, masters of exorcism knew how to stage such performances, but they didn't know the reason behind them. Today, we can use science to explain them. When the jar is put upside down, the water inside and the cloth instantly seal the mouth of the jar and prevent air from entering. At this time, the atmospheric pressure outside stops the water in the jar from coming out. Only when someone pricks the cloth, the air outside can get into the jar and the water can flow out. The so-called divinities, of course, don't exist. The success of exorcism is thanks to the careful observation the generations of exorcism masters made in life and the rich knowledge of physics and chemistry. In ancient times, the male ethnic group didn't have characters. They passed on their ethnic culture through verbal communication. Exorcism masters in a male language mean carriers of a male ethnic culture. They are also regarded as the smartest people in the ethnic group.